Okay guys, so I want to start trying to play around with polymer clay. And I've had this clay for a very long time. I've made one thing with it maybe years and years ago. And that worked out good. But anyways, this is, well, it's, this one's Fimo brand. It's white. So, what I wanted to do was I love the Martha Stewart molds, the picture frames, and the soft air bait, the air clay that, that does. This frame is perfect for making cards because it's lightweight. Um, well, that Martha Stewart clay, which I've done a video on it previously. And you don't have to bake it. But it's still a little soft. If I want to do like a project, you know, not a card, I want it to be hard like clay. So I decided I was going to try doing this mold, the Martha Stewart mold with polymer clay. Now first I bought this original Sculpey. And a lady in the store, she was shopping for clay too. She told me she does this because you don't have to condition it. It's already soft. It doesn't dry out. You, I mean, it's still hard, but it's nothing like um, the Sculpey, the regular Palmer clay, where you have to put it through the pasta machine and really work it for hours on end until it's thing. Now, I'm no, I've not, I'm not experienced in clay at all. Trust me, I've never, I don't mess with it. I want to learn though. So that's my mission. I'm going to learn to do, I want to make miniature foods and stuff uh, for doll houses. So you're going to watch on this journey with me. I'll post videos on how I progress in this. But anyways, here's the big flop, my first attempt today. Oh, but well, what I was getting at with this Sculpey, because it's soft and you still bake it, so it's not as hard as the other clay. And it's good, but it didn't work good in my Martha Stewart mold because mold, whatever. I couldn't get it out. It wanted to stick. Now, I didn't try putting some talcum powder in there, um, but I then I got the the Fimo clay out and that went in there perfectly and it came out perfectly and but now let me show you my I really have to learn how to bake this stuff so it's going to take practice 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 and I'll take any suggestions from any of you that knows anything about baking clay so then I tried to make a replica of this little miniature plate and so I did and I followed the manufacturer's instructions this this is <laughs> This is what it turned out to be. But anyways, it looked better before I cooked it. So I put it in my toaster oven. And I just bought this toaster oven at Walmart. And it's right there. It's just like a Black and De Decker cheapie for like 20 bucks. Alright, so I'll bring it back here. And I had it sitting there in my craft room. And I put it in because it, um, it said to just bake this at... 265 degrees for 30 minutes it didn't say the measurements or anything and here you can even see it on the front see 365 for 30 minutes it didn't say anything about the inches of the thicknesses like the other labels do so I put it in my toaster oven and I thought oh let me go downstairs I got 30 minutes and then I said oh I better not it's a new toaster oven blah 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 so I watched it. I swear I put it on 260. I put I actually put it on 250. And I stuck it in there and I was peeking through the window and it wasn't even in there for like 3 minutes. And I noticed it started browning and burning. I'm like, "Oh." It totally crisped this up. This was white clay. So I quickly took it out and yes, it was smoking and everything. So tonight when I come back home oh but anyways I do like this mold I need to practice getting it real smooth on the back but I do like how it came out in the clay because it's really hard um, this probably should have baked longer and before it scolded so I did watch a video where you can make like a tent <coughs> um, sorry a tent with your foil so that the heat elements not scorching the outside but yet it's making the heat go in their surrounding other than that, that's one tip I learned is I will never, ever, ever walk away from the toaster oven while I'm baking clay, not even for a second, because I'm not kidding. I think this was in there not even two minutes. And so I will be learning to play around, and I'm going to perfect this plate. <laughs> and there's so many videos out there watching this stuff, and one that I've been really watching, and I would love for, even if you're not into miniatures, 
just go watch how she works with clay. She makes all kinds of miniature foods and everything. And she is Garden of Imagination on YouTube. She has, like, I'm not kidding, 20,000 subscribers. And um, she just makes awesome videos. And so anyways, I'm going to take you on my journey and show you more of my creations as I improve on this. But I just thought I'd share you. If you guys have any suggestions to me on baking this stuff... And I hope I'm not, you know, I think I've heard that this stuff's toxic if it burns. So if I disappear for a while, <laughs> you'll know it was from the clay. All right, guys. So I just thought I'd share this little quick mishap with you and um, kind of be tinkering around with a little more because I really want to master it. There's some really cool stuff out there to make with it, and I've never done with it. So this is like a whole new media for me. And... I'll take any pointers and suggestions. Alright, this is what my plate should have looked like. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Goodbye.